Good afternoon. How are you today? Yes, I'm still playing the patient, and uh, I'm kind of impatient, but I look at it as a benefit to uh, be forced, relaxed, when uh, allowing my eye to mend, or so I understand the process to be. It's uh, 40 going down into the 30s, and uh, it's pleasant out, and there's no wind, and uh, in between taking care of my uh, my uh, I am doing uh, work for the office I had a long interview with a, an expert witness which was fascinating and uh, I guess you have to be interested in what I do <laughs> in order to do it and I am I, I continue to be fascinated I've been doing this for a few years now so uh, there are two kinds of uh, issues that I focus on right now um, one is, what do we do with the January 6th report? And if you haven't read it, you got to read Ari's Forward. It is uh, 30 pages jam-packed with the best synthesis around on uh, what the report says and means and what its significance is. And an old friend of mine, Charlie Kaiser, wrote an article for The Guardian, and I really trust his judgment. And he, he said that of all the forewords, uh, Ari... Uh, struck gold, meaning that he he showed a kind of insight like a prosecutor into the process. And I know his background matters, but I also know that Ari likes to give uh, value for the time he spends thinking about these things. So enough of that. What do we as individuals do? And um, this has been my exercise. We got this huge document, and I think the best format, if you want to play with it, be uh, investigators yourself, is to have it in a digital format, in a PDF document. And all you have to do is download them, and uh, then you have the document. And once you have it, this is how I would examine it. And, for example, the section that I would put first and foremost as a starting point is the easiest case to prove a crime against Donald Trump. And what is that case? That case continues to be, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's the Georgia case. It is Trump on tape saying, hey, I want 11,780 votes. Can you find them for me? And judge out on the West Coast looking at that said that Trump, he didn't seek to investigate. He sought to win an election and that he did it uh, with false facts and wrong law. So you already have this opinion from the court. But here's the other key. Not only is that conversation taped, and this is the exercise that you can use with a PDF document. Say you uh, said, okay, so who was at that meeting? Meadows was at that meeting, his chief of staff. He said everything. So what would you do? Uh, well, first of all, maybe you want to look at everything that Raffensperger said. So if you just type that in your find file, all the pages in the report in which Raffensperger is mentioned, you can read what he said and compare those statements and that track of statements to evaluate him as a witness. So he's obviously a witness. The tape is a witness. But who else is a witness? Say Meadows. You type his name in and you see where he's mentioned throughout the report. And you look for the trail that gets you to the point of saying, that's a solid case. And that is the solid case. Now, am I saying I wouldn't prosecute A, B, and C? I think the approach here is a thousand cuts. That's right, a thousand cuts. You go after Trump for what he did in Georgia. You bang that one out. And that's the, that's the easiest one, in my opinion, to bang out. We've got, we had a year, we know who all the witnesses are, we got interviews with almost probably all the people that matter. Uh, Georgia could cooperate with uh, uh, my good friend Jack Smith. I don't know him. Uh, well, I don't remember him if I do know him. And uh, I'm counting on Jack to do more than Garland would do. In fact, to become a hellion and to go in there and go after this case like there's nothing else in the world in his life that's ever been more important. Because there's a good chance that it's not. Because the very question of democracy is at stake here. So, 
if you do this in this way, you won't uh, read through the document, of course. Uh, and now, maybe only a guy like me would read through the document. But if you want to focus on certain key issues, that's what I would do. Now, some may say, so what about those uh, documents he's not supposed to have that he took from the White House? Well, that's an important case. But you've already heard that there are cross currents and phony stories. And um, you want a clean shot at this guy. In drug cases, they call it a one by uh, hand to hand, which is to say... The, uh, the guy wearing a big green sweater is undercover and he goes up to 116th Street uh, in Harlem and he says, uh, I want to buy something and he buys something and then they immediately arrest him because the guy gives him money for drugs or vice versa and the case begins. This case in Georgia is more like that. That's the case to win. That's the one to go after. Don't make it complicated. Some say, hey, why don't we, uh, you know, just uh, stop at the water's edge by barring Trump from ever holding office? No, that's part of the, that's part of the other cases. Uh, do, do the whole thing. I want to see jail. I want to see fines. And I want to see him barred from office. If those aren't your objectives, what's wrong with you? That's, that's the case. Now, here's the other sad thing. We're talking about this to preserve our democracy, and we actually still have to argue with those in law enforcement to get off their asses and to bring the damn case. Two years. So that's got to end. Be nice if it happened in January, wouldn't it be? And what are we ignoring? What we're ignoring it's pretty interesting because consider there's a story out of Mississippi in which the uh, leaks in the water system are so bad that citizens don't have pressure, okay? We have a situation involving mental health. An alleged murder is going to be executed and, uh, in Missouri, and uh, there's a mental health objection. And the way death was affixed to the misconduct, a murder, is the jury was hung, perhaps because of the mental health questions, and that's probably without the benefit of the additional information on that subject. But then the judge decided on execution. And that's a very, uh, well, that's the wrong way to do it. Uh, I've seen it before, but it's wrong. And then, uh, you know, a third thing that's interesting is, uh, you know, you got to think about in this day of cold, food insecurity, hunger. We, we have a word for everything to make it sound less important than it really is. Food insecurity, hunger. Uh, what do we call it? Uh, dwelling insecurity, homeless. We have all these public buildings, and we can't open them up on the coldest days. I don't know what happened in America. I don't know what the numbers were when we had that recent terrible cold blast across the nation. How many people died because they didn't have lodging? They had no place to go. No government building that was warm enough that could keep them safe until the storm had passed. This is So we have two things. Our form of government... Is still under siege because the people who know and matter aren't doing anything about it. And the underlying notion of what is civilization, that is how we treat our own, is compromised because we're at cross purposes on how to preserve our government by prosecuting the bad guys, including the most historic criminal in the American presidential history, Trump. And we should be doing something about water in Mississippi and mental health, not just in a capital murder case, and food insecurity, because there's less food for people to get this year than there was the earlier year and something that has to do with inflation, the fear of recession, and things like that. So, uh, that's what I got to say. Uh, hopefully my eye's getting better. I won't know until this bubble of air disappears. And uh, I hope you're doing well. And be smart on New Year's Eve if you go out. 
and we'll be staying close to home because of our, you know, our situation, Holly's immunosuppression issues. So uh, all the best. Talk to you soon. And I'm speaking to you from my <laughs> Cathedral of Trees. Take care. Bye-bye.